Um, Newberry is smart, funny, wise, best looking Garrett. Okay, I'll give you your money back. I'm not gonna read this. I'm gonna do my own thing. Horniest scene of my whole life. It was directly out of a rom-com movie. And it was like, I remember this so distinctly. It was like, oh my gosh, can you show me how this works? Yeah, yeah, I do this. It's like repositioning her. And like showing her how to keep her eye on the ball and where to put her hands and all this stuff. And me and Ian Matson, who's somewhere in the room, are sitting on the back porch watching this, our jaws on the floor, going like, they know what's happening right here, right? Like this is, this is, they're falling in love right now and they don't even know it. I hate that you're leaving the Greenberry house, but I couldn't have picked a better life for you. I'm so excited to see where y'all's marriage takes you. I love y'all both and Newberries. Megan is not just my sister, but also my best friend. I can tell her anything and trust that she will listen actively and encourage me well. I love jamming out to good music in the car with her and the countless sister dates we have been on. Speaking of dates, I remember the first time I met Garrett at a rainy Aggie football game. It was so fun to see Megan and Garrett interact and it felt natural to be hanging out with them together. It has reminded me that no matter wh where we are or what life holds, Meg and I will always be sisters and friends. And I'm grateful that as my sister starts a new chapter of her life, I could have a new brother also. Webster's Dictionary defines wedding as the fusing of two metals with a hot torch. I'm sorry, that's welding. Oh my gosh, you look amazing. I remember one of the college pastors at Grace Bible Church telling us not to be so obsessed with finding Mr. or Mrs. Wright. They said, just run after Jesus as hard as you can. And if you look over to the side and happen to see a young man or young woman running after Jesus as hard as you are, ask them if they'd like to run with you. I'm praying that God will bless both of you and that your marriage will be a shining example of Jesus' love. I want really badly to never disappoint you or be disappointed by you, to always be patient with you, always make sacrifices for you, always prioritize you over my occupation and my hobbies, always be honest with you, always point you back to Christ, and always lead you the way God has called me to. Andrew Newberry. I vow to commit my life to you in marriage with Christ always at the center. I vow to love you, serve you, and support you in all things. And according to the teaching of Holy Scripture and the laws of the great state of Texas, I, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, declare that they are husband and wife, what God had joined together, that let no one break apart. Garrett, you may kiss your bride.